everyone welcome back to abranale channel today's topic is very profound topic and very useful topic the topic is when you have a data you can convert into result and value particularly in six sigma so it is also called six sigma calculator for example you have a value percentage and you wanted to convert into dpmo defect per million opportunity or you wanted to con convert into zst or zlt short term performance long term performance or you wanted to convert into sigma value all these can be done in few fraction of seconds right exactly the same thing you have another thing uh, called for example you have a process capability uh, inherent process capability or resultant process capability cp or cpq you wanted to find out now all you need to do is you need to feed lsl value usl values and uh, the process mean and the standard deviation automatic cp cpk value will get automatically calculated similarly you wanted to find out the other metric for example dpu defect per unit dpmo defect per million opportunity or sig sigma value all these can be done unbelievably easy and it can be done in split seconds let's see more in detail directly in data tab i'm opening up the data tab so this is the data tab uh, six sigma calculator for example if i feed the value like 1500 uh, dpm value defect per million opportunity is 1500 it automatically says that the short term performance will be 4.47 and the long term performance will be 2.97 let's assume that i will put it like for case study 3.4 defect if we have that is equal to 6 sigma right so the short term performance that 6 sigma is 6 let's assume that i have 1000 right for 1000 so you will have 4.59 sigma similarly i cut down into 500 and 4.79 and exactly let's say i'm having only one defect out of 1 million opportunity that means it is 6.2 sigma let's say i have only 0.5 uh, you know defect per million opportunity then 6.39 let's say i have only 2.2 defect 6.57 the sigma value that is short term performance will go up exactly the same thing let's say dpo uh, like defect per unit is known for example like defect per unit is let's say from the p chart or u chart i'm finding out the p u value that x bar value that x bar value or u bar value or c bar value whatever the value which you are getting it proportionate value i'm feeding it let's say 0 0.04 let's say if it is 0 0.04 it is 4.1 sigma and let's say 0 0.004 it is uh, related to 4.8 sigma let's say like i'm just improving further ratio and if, like giving like 0 0.00005 0 you will get 5.3 let's say i'm getting another one 0, 0.5, 5, 0 and 5, so 5.92. Let's say like this, it can easily done. So whatever the value you have uh, getting, for example, the, your rejection ratio is very, very high, 0 0.05. So that is uh, 3.16 sigma. Let's say 0 0.03, it is 3.39, something like that goes on. Let's say your yield is uh, 95 percentage. You don't need to put the percentage, just you need to put the number 3.14 let's assume that your accuracy i mean your yield is 99.99999 then let's see 7.86 let's say i one zero i will cut down one zero i will cut down again further one zero i will cut down further one zero six point two five further one zero five point seven six see that one decimal has a huge significance in six sigma right for example, one zero I cut down, further one zero I cut down, further one zero I cut down. So 99 meant three three point eight three sigma. Let's say that I have the yield of 90, right? If it is 90, the sigma value is only 2.78 sigma. Right? So defect from opportunity, you will get it. So you will get it huge one. So you will get it 100 k uh, defect per million opportunity let's say that i have only 50 percentage yield 
that means the sigma value is only 1.5 so easily whatever the data you have when you feed the data here automatically the sketch calculator let's see the next one so next one you have something called mean standard deviation and lsn user let's say this is the mean we have let's say mean is 8 and lsl equal to 6 and use equal to 10 that is 10 minus uh, 6 is how much 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 right so that means 6 plus 2 is 8 well, let, let's assume that we are getting the target or we are getting closer to the target let's say a 0 0.01 we are getting it so automatically this will get calculated let's say standard deviation is 0 0.05 right so let's say point uh, maybe i can say 0.5 or something like that it automatically gets calculated so let's see the next topic let's it also find out that the z uh, st and zlt this is what it very very interesting right so let me say 0.4 right so when i put the 0.4 automatically sigma value show higher exactly in the same thing even if you have a discrete situation for example let's say defect and we wanted to find out the OFE, you can do it. For example, let's say you have a defect, a party defect, you have sample is 1000 samples. Your opportunity for uh, error, or you have OFE 8, or critical to quality 8, that means 8 parameter, this is the one. Let's say your defect came down, let's say from 20 you have, that means automatically it says that 4.31 and DPMO is 2500. Let's say it come down to 100 right further let's say it come down to only two right it has gone up right so like this you can do it for example let's say your ctq is maybe 10 and like this you can this is situation one situation two you have defect and sample and you can find out the defect per million opportunity or OFE. it is very simple let's say you have 20 defect automatically gets calculated whatever the defect you have whatever the sample value you have let's say your sample is 1000 at uh, 10,000 automatically or 1 million you can easily find it out so like this defective the scrap right let's say you have only five scrap out of 1001 so 99.5 within a split second you will be able to find it out right and uh, exactly cp cpk uh, value like cp you all know specification with the process with cpk minimum of cpu uh, uh, slash R R C P L right. For example, let's say you have LSL equal to four point five, and USL equal to five point five. Your mean is uh, uh, five point two, and uh, and then you have process within that is standard deviation equal to point zero two. So this is the value you will get. Let's say your mean is improving it. Let's say it has come down to point zero two. That is each sigma, right? And let's say you have come down to 5, uh, you have come down to 5.1. So automatically the value gets calculated. This also has got Six Sigma table also as well. I hope you find this uh, one useful where you can find out DPMO from the DPMO. You can find out uh, the uh, Six Sigma 1 or uh, Sigma level GST and DLT you can find it out. DPO again we can do the same thing from the yield you can percent convert into percentage from the percentage you can convert into sigma value and it and even if you have a discrete situation defects defectives and ctq you can easily find it out our process capability you can find it out easily so i hope you find this video very useful please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day ahead i'll be sharing this link in the description thank you very much have a wonderful day